So remember in the previous video of fixing the rear wheel bearings in this machine and I pointed out the brakes. Well with lots of fighting and struggle and use of torches and laying it underneath her there beating with a sledgehammer. I got those two housings off. The big cast iron housings that went on each side. Well, I'll show you how this all works now. That's what the housing looks like. And inside it's got some friction surfaces. That's cast iron. There's another surface on the side of the transmission or differential just like that. And like I said before, it's got band brakes. So how it works is this like cylinder type thing. It's the opposite of a brake drum. It's like an inside out brake drum. It sits in there and it spins along at a different speed than the wheel spin. When you want to put the brakes on, you push the brake pedal, that pulls the lever, which pulls this pin, and you can see how it grabs that outside part while it's spinning. And these friction plates that go on each side stop this big cylinder thing from going this way or that way and just sort of keep it centered all the time. So they're actually not like brake pads. They're more like friction centering pads. So, it looks like no big deal. I don't even need to change them. They're in good shape. Save them for next time. So all i got to do is pull out a bunch of cotter pins. And all this should slip apart. And I just slip these new ones back on and that's it. Even simpler than doing the rear brakes of a car. It was just a bitch getting those things off. They were rusty. You know, I do use that machine for plowing snow in the wintertime and I drive from house to house on slushy, salty roads. So I've got one side ready for reassembly. Pretty simple. Unhook two springs. All that's required. Then these two pins drop out. And that thing becomes free. Undo the pin that goes here. And everything pops out. So now I just gotta put it all back together the same way. Definitely easier than doing uh, the brakes on the rear of a drum car. Oh. You can see them in action. Too easy. Be easy putting it back together too. All right. The brake cylinders are on. Not like a hydraulic cylinder, just rotating cylinders. Now to slip those things on, no problem. Alright, they're on. Now just put all the bolts back in, pretty simple. Then hook up the pulling levers. Now to crawl underneath and show you the final steps, hooking up the linkages. <sighs> right now they're just dangling. Oh boy! Oh. The undercarriage. Oh. Well, you can see when you pull the lever, you pull on that threaded shaft, which then tightens the band. So it has actually dual brakes and dual brake pedals. These things hook up here. So you can actually spin this tractor really fast by braking one side and steering at the same time and spin her on a dime. I guess that's a good idea in some cases. That's nothing to do with anything, that's just an old stick. So now I just put these pins back in, the cotter keys, adjust these nuts, the brake pedals are up high, and we're all set to have another beer. I'll find out at the end how many beer job this was. Oh, I can't wait. Linkages are hooked up, cotter pins in, adjustments are all done, and I've already checked the pedals and they're pushing down about the same amount each side and they're quite up to the top so time for a beer ah a beer well made for a job well